In today's show, pre-2019 Bitcoins now make up just 44% of the current Bitcoin active supply. That's right, Bitcoin is less active right now than at any time this year. New data shows as traders stubbornly refuse to sell. That's right, they continue to hodl as Glassnode points out. Bitcoin percent supply last active plus two years, just reached a five month low of 44.5%. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. Also in today's episode, here's how Bitcoin millionaires are playing the crypto market according to Stantiment Analytics. As they point out, Bitcoin is at 35 5,400 after another mild drop off over the past day. But the key Bitcoin millionaire bracket that we track has seen a mild uptick in holdings. Addresses with 100 to 10,000 BTC have accumulated approximately 30,000 more Bitcoin this past week. Also in today's show, is this a bear trap? Major market movement is coming from the altcoins, according to analyst Tyler Swope, who believes that prevailing sentiment might drive traders into making a big mistake just before the market makes a huge move. Also in today's show, I'll be sharing with you five undervalued altcoins to buy this month of June, according to Altcoin Daily. And I'll give you a hint, they're all in the non-fungible token space. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and most all the major altcoins are currently pumping. And in the green, but where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And before I kick off today's show, today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, BlockFi, the leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. Here's where you can put your crypto to work. They're currently paying out a 5% annual percentage yield on Bitcoin, so it can literally have your Satoshis work for you. They're also paying out a whopping 10% and APY on stable coins and they have a new product which is their BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards Visa credit card. Here's how it works. You'll earn 1.5% back in Bitcoin on all your purchases where Visa card is accepted and for a limited time by using my referral link in the description right down below, you'll earn 3.5% back in Bitcoin on all your purchases within your first 90 days and it gets better. They even recently ditched their annual fee, truly making this a no-brainer to take advantage of it. Use my referral referral link in the description right down below. You can also take advantage of up to a $250 crypto bonus with a deposit of $100 or more. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right down below. Let's start stacking those sats and get your BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards Visa credit card today. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. We have a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. Bitcoin is less active than at any time this year. New data shows as traders stubbornly refuse to sell. That's right, the strong hands are hodling right now, as well as all the smart money. The only ones selling right now are the panic buyers, which are the retail investors, and they're transferring their Bitcoin to the long-term hodlers. One metric from on-chain monitoring resource Glassnode Analytics reveals that the Bitcoin supply is becoming less and less available, despite the lower prices. That's right, spooked hodlers are clinging on to their BTC. On June 2nd, Bitcoin's active supply had a five-month low of 44.5%, as Glassnode points out right here. Bitcoin percent supply last active two plus years has reached a five-month low of 44.5%, which you can see right here on your screen, brought to you by Glassnode Analytics, which is definitely a bullish indicator. Now, the number measures coins which have moved in the past two years or earlier, and the last time it measured that low, Bitcoin traded at around $22,000. The figure shows just how unattractive the idea of selling Bitcoin at current prices is to investors who purchased up until the 2019 bull run and the 2017 buyers already represent a strong cohort of hodlers of last resort. This goes some way to shoring up morale over the future price action as various indicators, including sentiment, measure the crypto greed and fear index, which shows a $36,000 Bitcoin, which appears to be undervalued. Nonetheless, the May sell-off ushered in a surge of newly liquid coins, something which managed to buck a two-year accumulation trend. Quoting Glassnode Analytics right here, the magnitude of accumulation over the past two years is remarkable. However, the scale of the sell pressure in May is also notable. And I also go on to share that investors were clearly spooked during this recent sell-off thanks to the massive FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the marketplace. Now the exchange balances are creeping higher, just as reluctant to sell. Meanwhile, our miners, relative to historical average, the outflows for minor addresses is now at a seven-month low as well. May's action likewise triggered an uptick in sales, but this has since reversed and is now at its lowest 
lowest since November of 2020, when Bitcoin traded around its all-time highs from 2017. As you can see right here from Glassnode, it shows you the Bitcoin miner outflow multiple chart. Only retail traders are waiting in the wings for a potential switch up as the balance of Bitcoin on exchanges continues to climb after its mid-April bottom. This also coincides with the come down from current all-time highs of nearly $65,000. So this is very bullish news for Bitcoin hodlers as the supply becomes more and more scarce as Bitcoin is the hardest form of sound money to ever exist in human history. And it's only going to become more difficult to get your hands on. So take advantage of the dip while you can and keep stacking that BTC. Now, before I break down our next story of the day, here's how Bitcoin millionaires are playing the crypto market according to Santiment Analytics, as well as, is this a bear trap? Major market movement coming from altcoins according to analyst Tyler Swope, as well as I share with you five undervalued altcoins to buy this month of June according to Altcoin Daily. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. We can see Bitcoin up 3% for the day, trading above 37,200. We have Ethereum up 5%, trading back above 2,700. We have Dogecoin pumping up 36%, trading at 43 cents. Binance Coin up almost 14%, trading just under $400. And Chainlink up 3%, trading at $30.87. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day. The largest hodlers of Bitcoin are taking advantage of the market downturn to increase the amounts of BTC that they own, according to blockchain analytics firm Santiment. That's right, BTFD, the smart money is buying the dip right now and increasing their position size. In a new tweet, Santiment reveals that the millionaire cohort or wallets holding between 100 and 10,000 BTC have massively increased the size of their Bitcoin investments in the last week of May. As Santiment tweeted right here, Bitcoin is at 35,400 after another mild drop off over the past day. But the key Bitcoin millionaire bracket that we track has seen a mild uptick in holdings. Addresses with 100 to 10,000 BTC have accumulated approximately 30,000 more BTC this past week. And as you can see right here on your screen, it shows you Bitcoin's millionaire wallets still maintaining high range and maintaining accumulation during this dip. The Crypto Insights firm adds that there appears to be a panic among traders of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, and XRP, which could be a good sign for the crypto market as they share in this tweet. We see evidence of panic among crypto traders and our weighted social sentiment data indicates that Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, and XRP and other top caps are showing crowd fear. Santa its findings are corroborated by crypto tracker site bitinfocharts.com showing one of the largest Bitcoin addresses having accumulated Bitcoin over the last half of May after some heavy selling prior. Now the fourth largest wallet in existence sold a total of 3,000 BTC as the leading crypto asset traded above $55,000 on April 12th and April 14th. The whale resumed selling 6,000 BTC on May 7th and May 9th as the king crypto hovered around $55,000. However, the whale bot has been actively buying BTC since May May 15th, BitInfo chart shows that the big time crypto owner accumulated 9,961 BTC in the last two weeks, which at this time of currently trading above 37,000 is worth about $370 million. So you can see the whales are hodling and taking advantage of this dip. And before I break down our next story of the day, is this a bear trap? Major market movement is coming from the altcoins, according to analyst Tyler Swope, as well as here are five undervalued altcoins to buy this month of June, according to Altcoin Daily. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto crypto market cap sitting just under 1.7 trillion with 107 billion in volume in the past 24 hours and current Bitcoin dominance back on the decline at 41. 0.7% with the Ether dominance at 18.7% and the current Bitcoin market cap just under 700 billion with the Ethereum market cap just above $312 billion. Now checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have Dogecoin leading the pack, pun intended, up 35% trading at 42 cents, Curved Dow token up 31% trading at $2.45 and Shiba up almost 13% trading at virtually nothing. Now checking out the top losers within the top 100, we have Decred down almost 6% trading at $160. Helium down 5% trading at $15.11. And Digibyte down 5% trading at 6.6 .6 cents. Now out of this list of the biggest gainers and losers, which altcoins are you currently most bullish on during this bull market? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 23 in Extreme Fear. Yesterday was a 20, last week a 22, and last month a 61 in Greed. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, Extreme fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity, aka BTFD, buy that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due 
for a correction. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Crypto analyst and YouTuber Tyler Swope believes that prevailing sentiment might drive traders into making a big mistake just before the market makes a huge move. In a new video, he tells his 240,000 subscribers that he believes that the bears are going to get left behind as Bitcoin gears up for the next leg of its market cycle. Quoting him right here, we're smack dab in the middle of the bear trap, AKA also known as we are still in the awareness phase of this hyper cycle. And according to the YouTuber, the awareness phase is when the first sell-off occurs prior to sustained growth that leads to new highs. With the assumption that the crypto market is still in the early stages of the boom cycle, the YouTuber predicts that the altcoins are set to go parabolic, quoting him here, because if this is true, the bear trap, altcoins across the board are going to go parabolic once again in the mania phase. They call it mania for a reason because everyone and everything goes crazy. You could throw a dart at a spinning dartboard of different altcoins and pick a winner in the mania phase. And per Swope, one of the altcoins he expects to go up is meme coin Alchemist, M-I-S-T, quoting him here. One of my top picks for just that is Alchemist coin, M-I-S-T. Why are they still one of my top picks? One word, M-I-S-T. X. The analyst explains that Alchemist Project recently launched Mist X, a decentralized exchange that mitigates front running and back running risks. Mist X is the world's first flash DEX, aka it is the first time in Ethereum history that regular users and traders get access to Flashbots technology. Flashbots is a distributed and decentralized research and development organization whose goal is to help solve the problems associated with MEV, maximal extracted value. Transactions via Mist X do not publish user transaction information to a public meme pool, but instead bundles transactions together in Flashbot bundles. This effectively hides the information from front runners and thus prevents your transactions from being manipulated, front run, or sandwiched. Pretty interesting, right? And to watch this entire video, check the show notes below the video in the description. Now, before I break down our final story of the day, and I share with you the five undervalued altcoins to buy this month of June, according to Altcoin Daily. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 800 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also have some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a blog I update daily, which could be found at cryptonewsjess.net. Dot com. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video in the description and turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this. You can also find me on Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience. We just surpassed 500,000 podcast downloads last month of May, so I appreciate your continued support. You can also find me on iTunes as well as Twitter. My Twitter handle is Crypto News Yes. And for those of you on Facebook, I do have a private crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy to join it, click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you on Telegram, I do have a private crypto Telegram chat, which is uncensored. To join it, click this link. You'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. And for those of you on TikTok, be sure to follow me there. All right, now let's break down our final story of the day. Crypto analyst Austin Arnold of Altcoin Daily is naming five of the most undervalued altcoins that he says are ripe for opportunities this month. In the new video for his 818,000 subs, Arnold lists five cryptos that are all within the non-fungible token space, starting with Ikami, O-M-I. Ikami is the blockchain that powers the digital collectibles marketplace, Vivi. According to Arnold, Vivi's partnership with pop culture icons could be a bullish catalyst for the nascent digital asset in the future. Quoting him here, the integration with pop culture for me is really where Ikami starts to get exciting because while other cryptos are still only hoping for adoption, are still hoping for awareness, Ikami's got it. Vivi has already formed huge partnerships with brands like Warner Brothers, Capcom, and DC Comics. Altcoin number two on Arnold's list is Super Farm. Super. Super Farm is a platform for cross-chain NFT farming with no coding skills required. The trader also notes he's bullish on the fact that the projects can launch on the platform using a suite of built-in tools, including marketing, fundraising, development, advisory, and more. Super is currently trading at 77 cents, according to CoinGecko. Now, third on the list is Mural, P-A-I-N-T, which Arnold believes is way more of a hidden gem in the cryptocurrency space. Mural is a collaborative digital canvas that artists can contribute to by using the paint token. Each paint token can draw two pixels, and just like real-life paint, it can only be used to draw one once. Mural is definitely an altcoin to watch and, by the way, is doing something very, very different than all the other altcoins mentioned today. At this time, paint 
is currently trading at 0.0004. Now, the fourth coin on Arnold's radar is Origin Protocol, OGN, which provides a platform for building peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces and e-commerce applications. Users also have the ability to earn yields on a stable coin, OUSD, and through staking OGN, Arnold notes that Origin has partnered with popular DJ and recording artist Justin Blau. The trader says the partnership is a green flag for me. Now, the last NFT-focused crypto on Arnold's watch list for June is RFOX, the native token on virtual marketplace ecosystem Red Fox. The project's RFOX Vault aims to build an augmented reality network with virtual shop fronts, billboards, meeting places, and more. According to RFOX, the team will incorporate virtual reality and artificial intelligence in addition to offering digital items, including those issued through blockchain smart contracts and NFTs. The reason they make our list today is because they recently announced RFOX Vault, an out-of-this-world immersive commercial experience. So in the most simplistic terms, think of this potentially as the next Decentraland, M-A-N-A. -A. RFOX is launching a fully immersive virtual ecosystem that offers users a unique experience. This is coupled with the capacity to transition traditional commercial enterprises like merchants into a virtual ecosystem built upon unique NFTs that emulate real world economies. And to watch this entire video, check the show notes below the video in the description. Now out of this list of these five undervalued altcoins to buy in June, according to Altcoin Daily, which ones in particular are you currently bullish on, if any? Let me know in the comments below. Now for a quick recap, what I cover with you right here in today's show, pre-2019 Bitcoins now make up just 44% of the active Bitcoin supply. Also in today's show, I shared here's how Bitcoin millionaires are playing the crypto market, according to Santiment Analytics. Also in today's show, we discuss, is this a bear trap? Major market Market movement is coming from the altcoins, according to analyst Tyler Swope. Also in today's show, we discuss five undervalued altcoins to buy this month of June, according to Altcoin Daily. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. Turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this and real quick before i go i want to give a special shout out to BlockFi, where you can put your crypto to work they're currently paying out a five percent annual percentage yield on bitcoin so you can literally have your satoshis work for you you could also earn a 10 percent apy on stable coins and be sure to take advantage of their new flagship product which is a BlockFi bitcoin rewards visa credit card where you can earn 1.5 percent bitcoin back on all purchases and by using my referral link in the description right down below you'll earn 3.5 percent back in bitcoin on all purchases within your first 90 days they also recently ditched their annual fee truly making this a no-brainer so go ahead and take advantage of this today and i look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode peace